Good morning, beautiful, beautiful Sagittarians. I need to talk to you guys. <laughs> Sagittarius, I know the frustration that you've been through, but I really want to reiterate, just because you can't see the blessings coming doesn't mean they're not coming. Our time and the universe's time are completely different. So it's like, you know, somebody said in the comments, well, you keep saying that this is happening. I don't keep saying it. The universe is saying it, guys. I'm just the messenger. And when spirit says you're getting blessings, that's what spirit means. And just because we can't see it today doesn't mean it's not manifesting and it doesn't mean it's not coming, guys. So don't get discouraged. Do not sit there and be self-defeating, guys. It's really important. This is coming up into Sagittarian, Jupiterian season. Please remember that, guys. I don't care if I say it a hundred times. I don't care if I say it two hundred times. But if Spirit is revealing it a hundred times or two hundred times, be sure Spirit means what Spirit says. So just because we don't see it today does not mean it isn't going to happen. Some, hey, you know what, guys? I'm almost 60 years old. I waited a lifetime. And I'm going to continue to wait. But I can tell you that things do manifest. They absolutely do. So it is your faith you need to rely on. So just know, you know, it comes from you and your faith. If you believe it, it shall soon manifest. Now, take that as it resonates. I don't want to hear negative comments going, it does never happen for me. I never get anything good. That is self-defeating and spirit will not bring it to you with that belief system. Spirit has nothing to prove to you. Absolutely none. You have to prove it to yourself. And that is exactly the message I was supposed to convey to you guys. Know that. We make our own dreams. We, you know, a miracle is not going to drop from the heavens. We manifest our own realities. And when we tell ourselves, it never happens for me, it's never going to happen for you. <laughs> I'm just being real, guys. So believe in yourselves. Believe in your own abilities. Believe in your own faith. What are the messages today for Sagittarians? Now, guys, that's why I enjoy all of your comments. I enjoy it when you like and subscribe to the channel because it helps me pick up on those energies. And that definitely is the energy I'm picking up on. Frustration. When is this going to happen? When it is ready to manifest. And when you're right with yourself. When you believe. When you can be comfortable in the today. What do you have today? And be happy for what you have today. Because I'm telling you guys, it can be a lot worse. What's going on for beautiful Saggies? What is going on for beautiful Sagittarius? I know you guys have been through it. I know it, but I'm trying my best. I know the universe is trying their best. So what's going on for beautiful Saggies? That idea, that inspiration that you had, did you act on it, Spirit is saying? That idea, that creative project that you were thinking about, did you act on those things? It'll all come out in the wash. You watch and see, Sag. All those things, all those experiences will all come to show you a bigger picture at the end. Don't give up hope. Don't give up faith. Trust in the infinite. The universe is always with you. Trust your innocence. 
the sound of the universe. The violet flame. Oh, yeah, that's a strong message, guys. You know what? The closer you get to your life purpose, the harder things seem to get. That is because of your root chakra. What do you believe? What do you believe? If you believe, that you will manifest the life that you want. You have to be clear and decisive of what you want, how to get it. And sometimes unanswered prayers are a favor done by the universe. Because what it does do is bring us to the violet flame, the most intense heat, the most intense enlightenment. It's like, sad to be true, but that is the law of polarity. If we always had light all the time and never experienced the dark, how would we know what was light? And how what would we know what was dark? So within the darkness, within the shadows, is usually where we do our best work and produce the the highest quality of thoughts and manifestation so be aware of that so don't get down on yourself when you're down on your luck because that's when we find usually our soul plan our soul purpose it's like forging metal burnt by the flame you can mold it into anything you want and some of the most beautiful weapons and jewelry are forged to produce the most high quality gems and precious items that you will ever see in your life so is it worth the pain yeah it is does it matter if it happens today no nope just as long as it happens. Some of us are slow learners, like we're just so busy working that we don't actually think about our life purpose. We just think our life purpose is to get up and go to work every day. But what is our soul telling us to do? What is the idea that the universe gave you how to create? And did we act on those things? It's a radical expansion, like learning to expand your mind and go outside the norm to find the answers. Because when you do, it will overflow. All the keys will unlock those doors to this abundance overflowing so just know that everybody's journey is different it's going to be at all different stages all different reasons all different events none of us are the same not one hmm. The masculine emerges. Lady Luck is trying to play her cards. So let's see what's going on. And if we don't like what we have, we have to change it. It's the song, if you don't like what you got, why don't you change it? If your world is all screwed up, rearrange it. Raise a little hell of your own. Maybe it's time, Sagittarius, raised a little hell. To celebrate. Hmm. 
Can't make up a decision. This clown at crossroads can't make up a decision. Maybe it's time Saji made a decision. Don't know what to do. Maybe they're foolish. I'm going to play Alice in Wonderland. The Circus of Love, guys. Alice in Wonderland and the Circus of Love. You know, for my, I can only speak for myself, guys, but I've wasted so many, so many years on love and trying to discover love and keep love and be heartbroken by love. You know what I decided years back to love me, do me, don't care, surrendered, give up. decided that I was worth my own time instead of spending all my time worrying what other people wanted I worry what I want hmm. yeah spirit has a wild card and gives you a wild card you know it's that little mystery right spirit's got a card left to play don't you worry about it sag and so do you what about sag hmm. Somebody wants you to play your hand and you're going, keep on guessing. There's a little mystery here. Go fish. Somebody wants you to play your hand. So don't expose everything. Keep it a little mysterious here. What is meant for you? Hmm. What's going on here? Hmm. Karmic energy. They wear masks, guys. This is what's really messing up Sagittarians. I, I mean, that's what not all Sag, but a lot of you Sag are getting messed up. Uh, because your person is with a karmic uh, that is not even meant for them. They wear false masks. That's why you're so frustrated. And it's like they want you to force your hand. They're forcing your hand somehow. And you're holding back going guess. You're holding your cards close to your chest. Because you know that this person was meant for you. And along comes this fake ass here karmic energy that is trying to play your hand okay that's why you got to keep it close to your chest because it's almost as if <sighs> keep them guessing Sag see that's the celebration card that's the twin flame card. And here is this person over here holding on to a secret, wearing a false mask. That is the karmic. Okay? Hmm. They could be a redhead, just saying. Or they're a hothead. Take that as it resonates. But they, they feel like they're this, um, oh, they are not who they appear to be. Just saying, when you have, you're this sweetheart with the voice of an angel compared to this dark, fake ass, play your hand. 
play your hand. They expose themselves for who they are. You, you know that this person was meant for you. What the heck? And this clown of crossroads sits here. What should I do? Hmm. They give in to this karmic energy because they act tough. They act like this is a person who wants to win at all costs. They don't care if this person loves them. They don't care about this person at all. They want to win. Period. It's a game. It's a game. So play your hand. No, I'm holding my cards close to my chest. You know that this person is meant for you. This person knows that they are meant for you, but they want to win no matter what. Even if this person doesn't love them. They strong arm this person somehow, some way. It's like forcing their hand. I'll play my hand. Come on, they're just waiting to play their hand. And this... Um, your person knows it. They act like this little innocent little princess over here trying to th have a victory, but Spirit is saying they don't want to let them know that they're the actual loser in the card game. Yeah. So this little princess who wants to be this warrior, thinking like maybe there's some uh, something important. They know they're not important. Okay? They're going to end up losing. This little princess who acts all innocent and puts on the tears and pull, plays her hand, you know, uh, they're exposing themselves not to worry they are the loser they are they want to be victorious but they're not they're grasping at straws you're the sweetheart you're the real raw deal you know that this is meant for you they're gonna end up losing but you know how long do you want to wait some of you are not waiting. Some of you are like, no, I am the rare raw deal. I'll get what's meant for me. Just saying. This one over here changes on a dime. They're like willing to fight for the death for this masculine energy or take it as it resonates if you're a masculine Sag your person is like they're fake ass okay they are but this karmic for a masculine here is like even death won't take them. Their stronghold on this person is beyond belief. They don't even care if it kills them. They're not letting them go. That is the circus of love. When all this karmic is, is a little pixie. They're a little fool. Okay? Just saying. Versus what? A tiger angel? Hello? I don't know. It's a matter of personal choice. But, you know, don't let your life hold you up. I'm just saying for anybody who's waiting, do not hold up your life waiting for anyone. You, the best advice is to get them out of your energy as much as possible. I know it's hard, 
but focus in on you, your, your own life. If this person is coming around, they're coming around. You know, for real. <coughs> Waiting for this guest of honor. You are the guest of honor. Spirit is the guest of honor in your life at this time. The universe is your strength, is your partner. And Lady Luck is on your side. Because you are the Velvet Queen. You're the royalty. You are the shit, man. Just saying. And this person is a sacred fool. Because they cannot figure out the difference. <laughs> Be proud of yourself. You have a lot to be proud of. Uh, you didn't have to resort to being a little harlequin, a dark harlequin to attract this person and being this kiss-ass um, uh, geisha girl to keep them. Be proud of yourself. Out of the darkness shall emerge this masculine energy. But, got to go through transformation, and I'm telling you that this karmic, they got every trick in the book here, guys. They do. What do you want me to be? Do you want me to wear a funky old hat? I'll wear a funky old hat. Do you want me to kiss your ass? Let me see how far. Acting like this little innocent virgin. Innocent, innocent. Pretend. This person is a fake. They're all pretend. But this juggler, okay, knows it. They're aware of it. They, this karmic tries to pretend they're divine. But they're wearing a false mask. This is the real divine over here. This one tries to pretend, you know, I can be a virgin. I can be a little uh, drunk. I can be, what do you want me to do? Do you want me to like kiss your ass today? I will. Be a slut? Can be. Little innocent? Oh yeah. Little Princess, oh yeah, I can do that. They're a Columbine. They change. <laughs> they got every trick in the book, guys. Just saying. There's still a wild card to be played. The Joker's wild. Nobody knows how this card game is going to end. Who holds the wild card? Spirit. And... Ooh. Oh. Her wicked ways. Ooh, she's getting nasty. The little virgin's looking kind of wicked here because this person knows you're a supernova. <laughs> Spirit is saying that this person is being a pinhead, okay? Oh my God, you have more maturity and wisdom. You are like this angel compared to this little Alice in Wonderland. You have the power. The Spirit is saying, rah, rah, rah. You are the winner here. <laughs> because this little dark Harlequin has a date with destiny for whatever they've been doing. All their darkness is being revealed. The cherry on the top. You were dealing with a high priestess here. Damn, spirit. Light and dark, man. What do you choose? Spirit set in the middle. Telling this other divine counterpart, whoever, you could be this masculine energy, Sag, a, a masculine man, 
<clears throat> or woman whose partner was this dark harlequin, okay? Nasty ass energy. It's like sitting here, it almost killed me. You're getting an angel. You're going to be blessed with someone divine, a supernova, a tiger angel, someone strong and beautiful and confident. If you are this feminine Sagittarian whose masculine is with a karmic, spirit is, playing, spirit is not played spirit's hand yet. This little karmics played their hands. They played all their cards. They got no tricks left up their sleeves. They've played it all. Look, they've played their hand. They're exposed. You, you've been playing your cards close to your chest, okay? Whatever. They're saying they're going to fight to the death for this person. Well, who are they to decide someone's fate or destiny? They got a date with destiny. You cannot do that. So, you know what? Just let, guys, just let spirit be spirit. You've done what you can. You're not responsible for the actions of what other people do. You're only responsible for your own. Stay in your divine power. Worry about you. What is good for you, Sag? Because I can tell you whoever this divine partner is, they got the cherry on the top. They got the best of both worlds. They got everybody vying after them, wanting their attention, and it's it's not cool. What's going on, Sag? Oh, what is this? Why did this come in reverse? Commitment in reverse? What the hell? You're this bright baby. You're the sunshine. But why is this pentacle in reverse? No commitment there. There's no commitment there. I told you. Spirit's too funny right now, guys. It's going... This little shiny new toy holding this pentacle is going to lose their pentacle. Hmm. There's love here. Somebody is watching somebody who they love. Wanting this attention. Wanting this love. Honor and respect. Coming toward you. What's going on? <laughs> this karmic is angry because she's losing her pentacle. Her golden coin. Because <laughs> this person is going to end up working with you. I just know it. And it doesn't matter whether you want this person or you don't want this person. It doesn't matter. Do what is good for Sagittarius. New love is on its way. Reconciliations is also coming up. So take it as it resonates because someone wants to celebrate. Someone wants to work on things. And someone is getting their karma And that's why the karmic is blowing a gasket at this time, because they don't want to lose their golden coin here. And they're angry and trying to keep this person stuck. But this person is looking at it. Looking at...
Hmm. Spirit is going to make a choice here, guys. They're angry at this little whatever person, dark harlequin. They're angry at this person. They know what they're about. Okay? Your person knows what this the goods on this person. They have played their hand. They've played every trick in the book. Spirit is sitting here saying choose or I'm bringing in karma either take leadership and choose or I'm bringing in karma who do you love this one likes to juggle this one likes to be indecisive, don't make up their mind, because the truth is they like being a player. That's the truth. So that's the truth, Spirit Sam. Choose. Cut one out or cut the other out. Spirit's getting fed up. The spirit is gonna play spirit's cards now. And they are not going to be able to defend themselves. Can't. What did you do in the past? Spirit is calling the shots here, guys. I'm just saying. Especially if you're like this earth angel type of person who is right with spirit spirit's gonna do something here and they're gonna have no defense hmm. spirit is saying end it and move on or they're creating creating a tower because they were ignoring all the signs, all the synchronicities, all the messages. Yeah, see? Honor your commitments. Move on to who you're passionate about and commit. Don't like all these things, hidden secrets. Spirit don't like that crap. It's twin flame and that wanted to come in reverse here guys so Sagittarian energy there's this earth angel ten of cups hmm. wish fulfillment your empress don't deceive my empresses that's what spirit is saying. Spirit is saying that this might be an emperor, but they're a deceptive emperor. Spirit is saying, cut them out, focus on your, your own stability, your own family. Ooh, till they want to speak a truth. Now look at this. Now all of a sudden, they want to speak some truth. Come back around. Make a choice. There's this love cup coming in, thinking about how much they love you. Oh, thinking about their karma. What comes around goes around. You reap what you sow. Uh-oh. <laughs> Consequences, consequences for being foolish, taking too many risks, 
reaping what you have sown. You had someone nurturing, someone loving, someone kind, and you chose a dark harlequin? For real? For real? Mm. Don't care, spirit saying, stop thinking about money. Money don't buy you love. Money don't buy you happiness. Protecting their money. Lying and deceiving their their soulmate hell to the no something that was destined a destined partner mm. spiritual union mm. abandon them walk away from them coming in for a friendly little friends with benefits Dropping your burdens on my angel, giving to do. Mm, no. Manipulating. Painful. No. There will be justice for your greed. You're going to be sad for not making a choice. You're going to get heartbroken. Full of chaos and conflict and stuck in it. Till you choose to do the work. So spirit saying. So you know what, Saji? Spirit is saying, let spirit play spirit's hand. Go on about your business. Go on about your life. Don't waste any more of your valuable time on this person they either are coming around or they're not coming around but don't sit and wait for this person go on about your life go on about the things that you enjoy and learn to have some fun again and celebrate your life, celebrate your family, celebrate your accomplishments, celebrate you, Saj, because you know what, this person, if they are coming in, they're going to come in anyway, regardless of what you're doing. So I wouldn't sit and worry about this person, I wouldn't sit and uh, go have some fun live your life if they come they come if they don't they don't don't waste your life waiting for somebody to return i mean you gotta think about it if they want to choose a dark partner when they know they've had an angel That doesn't say much for them. Emperor or no emperor. Don't let it stop you from enjoying your life. Take care, beautiful Sag.